hi guys welcome back to my channel and guess what we're here with another foundation friday and today we're gonna test out that rare beauty foundation so if you want to see how that foundation works how it perform how we do it do you already know what to do keep on watching <laughs> okay so we're back and time to talk about this foundation from rare beauty so the foundation has 48 shades i think yes 48 shades and it's 30 dollars so it's actually last week i did like low end of the oh high end of the low end foundation and today i'm doing the low end of the high end foundation if that makes sense so yeah 48 shades and it's only 30 bucks which is not crazy i know it's not 15 dollars but it's not crazy dollar it's not 45 and 60 and 70 which i've done on my channel so let me read something about this foundation and if any of you don't know rare beauty is selena gomez's line and then it is I'm trying to get some information about here, but there's like so many reviews and all this stuff. So I'm like, mm. so it is an innovative, long lasting foundation that combines the weightless feel of a serum with buildable medium coverage for true breathable layer. Wear, layable wear. So cruelty free. Suitable for all skin type of a sensitive skin, vegan, dermatologist tested, paraben free and non comedogenic which I think that is what makes it oxidized, I think. So yeah, so let's jump into it and see. So this is my shade, I think. I don't know, we'll see. So it doesn't have a palm. It has like a dofer, like so. So it feels good, I think. I feel like this shade might be a little bit dark for me, but it's okay. Oh, I can put them on my lip. So I'm actually gonna try this sponge. This is from RC Cosmetics, I think. I got it to my boxy charm, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I don't know. I haven't really been applying my foundation with like sponge. I don't know. See, I feel like the sponge takes so much of it. I feel like the sponge just kind of sucks the life out of the foundation. Not sure why I put foundation on my forehead because I don't usually do that. Oof. No, I put it in my hair. I don't know. I feel like this sponge just suck all of this. So I am gonna go back in. I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting the best application with the sponge. To be honest, like I don't know. And then I'm gonna go and do it with my brush. Try it on true brush. I feel like that's a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like this foundation is a little bit dewy. And for my concealer, I'm gonna use my one size concealer. Okay, so this is how everything is looking. Everything is looking nice and nice. So yeah, as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try on this foundation for a few hours and I will let you know how I feel like, you know, by doing my two normal check-ins and at the end of the night, I will give you my final thoughts on this foundation and how it works, how it doesn't work and you know, the whole tea on this foundation. So see you guys later. Hi 
Hi guys, so I'm doing my first check-in. Oh my god, my forehead is hella um, shiny. But yeah, yeah, this is shiny, shiny, shiny. But apart from that, everything was good. I'm about to eat, so the lips are about to go. But I like how this foundation looks. It is dewy, but not crazy, like just all over the place. So yeah, everything still looks good. Um, I don't know. Everything is laying like really, really nicely. So I'm going to put it on for the foundation. And then um, right now I've been wearing this foundation for about four hours. So I feel everything still looks good, good, good. And yeah, so I'll do the normal. I'll give you one more check-in. And then at the end of the night, I will give you my final thoughts on how this foundation works, how it performs, and you know, the whole shebang. So, see you guys later. Hi guys, so I'm doing my final check-in. Um, yeah. Again, I was eating, you know the usual. So lipstick is gone and because I was eating greasy chicken, like I always do that. But yeah, everything is still looking amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know. My forehead is a little bit shiny and then it's tip on my nose but I also had my highlighter right here so I'm not sure if that's what's making it um, like that but yeah but apart from that everything is still looking amazing 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 um, right now I've been wearing this foundation for about 5 hours and then I've ate and I've been around back and forth everywhere so yeah so this is my final check-in and then i will give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the night of how this foundation works and how it performs see you guys later hi guys we're back in time to give my final thoughts on this foundation don't ask me why i say it like that so okay so let's take a look while i eat my hair and my lip is like dirty so i look like i have a little bit of like some separation like right here um the foundation right around my mouth is gone i ate that i will excuse the foundation for that but what i have like happening right here and my smile line i feel like this foundation actually got really really dewy like like look at how shiny my hand looks so I don't know I think by now what's it nine almost ten o'clock so I've been wearing this foundation for about maybe six hours about 
um, for six hours I feel like you know I should not be looking that way and I always like prime and set and do all that jazz so yeah it's a high-end foundation that's only $30 so if you have dry skin actually you might really like this foundation um, if you have dewy skin you might also like this foundation uh, for me again I have so many foundations that's you know I think that's amazing and I would prefer to do like my horse labs and then my NARS foundations so yeah do I hate it no would I purchase it again no so yeah so do with that what you may if you like it get it if you have it and you use it and you love it you know that's great but yeah so that's it guys for this foundation Friday don't forget to like subscribe join the family and you know what I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.